Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I'm going to show you a new option in Luminar Neo, which is crazy panorama. And we're going to do three projects. The last one is absolutely crazy. We're going to add some sun rays. You will see this software is really next level. Okay, so I've imported a few panorama and let's start with this crazy panorama for the Mont Saint Michel. So one, two, three. You select the photo and you drag and drop it on the new panorama stitch option and you click on start. That's going to launch the stitching. The stitching is the ability for the software to put the photos together. Now that might take a little while depending on your computer. Okay, you have different ways of stitching the panorama, uh, which is just basically different ways of projecting uh, the panorama. That's how we call it. And you can even like you have different options where you can move things around. Uh, you know, if you don't like the way it's stitched and if you, let's say, and if you get lost, this is basically panoramas are kind of projected against like a sphere. That's, that's the technology behind it. But let's say you get lost, you can always click here and come back. I really like that stitching. Let's see, uh, they're very similar on this, on this uh, photo. Yeah, I think, oh, maybe I'm going to take this one and I'm to click on stitch. The next tech is going to be cropping. So I'm going to crop it. So that I have what I need. I love how the sun is big on this photo. Uh, Mont Saint-Michel, if you've never been, amazing. So I'm gonna save it. And now I can do my regular workflow in edit. So on this one, what I'm gonna do, look at the sun and the Mont Saint-Michel, it's really, really cool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna develop the photo first. And by the way, if you get this extension from me, you get a discount, use the code uh, photo search. All the infos are under this video. Uh, it's a release price and you can get it at a good price. So. I'm going to go to the develop module and I'm going to do uh, a bit of super contrast. I'm going to bring down the highlights. I love the shadows. You know, I use Lightroom and Luminar and I must say I use more and more Luminar, especially when I have a photo that I really, really like, which is very exceptional. I like to use Luminar on it because it does crazy stuff with your photo. Uh, it's such a powerful software. It's really unreal. So a little bit of basic editing. It's a bit of a different workflow. Like I don't open the shadows as much as I do in Lightroom if you follow my other tutorials, but I'm going to do bring down the highlights. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to enhance. Enhance is amazing because what it does is it just makes the photo look better, but don't overdo it because it's going to look over processed. So a little bit of accent and a lot of sky enhancer to get that sky to come back. It's just making the sky darker to make it even more darker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, relight option and I'm going to bring down the brightness near uh, so that the brightness here is a bit darker in here and also the brightness far. Uh, so that we focus more the attention in the middle of the photo. Now I want to give it like it was a beautiful sunrise and I kind of lost it in the raw file. So I'm going to go to landscape and I'm going to go to golden hour because it was a golden hour and I'm just going to make this golden hour a little more golden. And voila, check it out before, after. Let's do the next one. So now let's go to Iceland with this beautiful photo of Vesterhorn. Let's click on start. Vesterhorn is one of the nicest beach in Iceland. Okay, let's check out the different stitching options that we have here. They don't make a huge difference, to be honest. I kind of like this option here, so I'm going to click on stitch. Now let's do the cropping. And if you don't like, actually don't like this stitch, I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to go back to the original stitching, which is this one. Yeah, I like this one more. You can, you know, just go back and forth. Yeah, this one's way better. I think I want to make it a little less panorama. This is one of my favorite panorama in, in Iceland. And boom, crop. And same thing, we're gonna edit this panorama, so I'm gonna save it. Okay, and then I'm gonna edit it. So same thing on this one, I always start by the develop module. I'm gonna add some smart contrast. I'm going to lower the highlights a bit on this one. Now this photo is way too blue. The white balance was off on my camera, so I'm gonna warm it up until the blue is almost gone. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe add a bit of magenta, maybe add a bit of vibrance to it to really make it pop, a bit more contrast. Okay, good. I think I want to open the shadow a little more on this one, so I'm going to open the shadow, yeah, just like that. Okay, great. Now on this one, I am going to go to enhance and enhance it a little bit. Don't overdo it, it's going to look weird, but a little bit is kind of cool. Maybe a bit of sky enhancer. Voila, let's go a little bit on landscape. Landscape got that golden hour. It's again, it's a golden hour. So let's add some golden hour things to it, which I really kind of like. 
And then usually what I do it to finish it, I go to super contrast and I do highlights, mid-tone and shadows. The problem with that is it's gonna make the photo really too saturated. So then you have the last step, which is color harmony. And color harmony is amazing because you know I always go too far in my colors, so I can just bring down, almost make it black and white. I can bring tone down the colors here. And then I'm like, oh, maybe make it a bit warmer there uh, over the overall photo. And yeah, pretty good. I think I want to add more contrast. So for just slightly more contrast, I'm going to go back to, and you can do that over and over. That's what I love about uh, Luminar. You can go back to develop and say, okay, let's add a bit more smart contrast to this photo. Maybe open slightly shadows. And uh, voila, look at this. Before, after. Beautiful, beautiful panorama in Iceland. So let's go back to the catalog and let's do the last one with a crazy ray effect. So this is photography I shot in a library in Paris. It's one of the oldest library in Paris that was actually saved from the French Revolution. It's a funny story. The French Revolution destroyed a lot of the libraries or spread out all the books. And the guy who owned that was running this library donated all the books to the French Revolution so they would uh, you know, not destroy it. And they didn't know what to do with this so they kept the library as such. It's one of the nicest library in Paris. There's a few. Okay, so this is one of the nicest uh, library in Paris. I'm going to take the basic stitch. Let's go for that. Let's do the cropping. Cropping's good. Let's crop it. And this one I'm going to do a crazy effect on because I love how the, there's big windows and I'm going to do a little crazy effect on it to uh, make it really pop. Okay, so let's go to edit. And on this one, okay, see on this one, I messed up the crop, but that's totally okay. You can just go back in the crop tool and crop it even more. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the develop module. I'm gonna do smart contrast. I'm gonna boost the highlight on this one because I really wanna make the shadow comes. I'm gonna lower the exposure. Maybe make it a bit more warm. Nah, slightly. Nah, no, actually I'm not gonna change the white balance. I wanna make it dark because I'm gonna relight it with the sun rays. So check this out. Play sun center, you have a little dot. I'm gonna press it, put it here. And then I'm gonna boost the amount and check it. Look what it does now. It can look really fake if you don't do it right, but there is a way of making it less fake, which I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna put this in a corner and then I'm gonna lower the amount so that it's reasonable. Okay, overall look, um, yeah. Sunray lens, maybe not touch that, but not ray settings, number of rays. I like to have very little number of rays. And then maybe a little bit more penetration, just a little there. Overall look. And just play around with the different settings. What I like to do, yeah, I kind of like that. But you see, it's too much. I kind of like what it does here and here, but I don't like what it does there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the masking tool, and that's the secret. And you go to masking, take a brush, and you go to erase, big brush. And I'm going to erase the effect where I don't want it. I don't want the effect sort of here, and uh, and now you only have a bit of the effect there. Check it out, before, after. It's much more th subtle. All right, and check out also, um, check out this other tutorial I did on Luminar Neo that's kind of cool if you really wanna master this software. It's a really cool tool to have. Get the discount, the link is under the video. It's really something to add to your tools.